What's going on guys? Welcome back to the apartment maintenance channel and today we're going to be replacing a tub basket with the cross pieces broken and as you can see the piece that goes this direction is broke off. So realistically we wouldn't be able to use our regular uh, tub drain tool which is called a dumbbell that's probably not going to work. Um, so the tool that you want to use, right here, tub drain removal tool. This tool here is the tool that you want to use whenever your uh, cross piece breaks off or however yours is set up. If you have nothing to grab onto, this is an extractor. Just put it in the tub basket. You can give it a little tap with a mallet or a hammer and then uh, grab a half inch drive ratchet which I have a half inch drive breaker bar here <clears throat> that I use for water heater elements and that's what I'll use to break this free and we'll spin it out okay we'll see if we can break it free It's actually coming out pretty nice. We'll get this area here all cleaned up and we'll get the new one prepped and get ready to install it. Okay, we got our surface all prepped up down here around the drain and we'll get our new drain. There's our new one. Push pull to Watco. Same brand that we removed. And these are the high flow. As you notice, it doesn't have uh, the cross going this way, just one direction, which is the uh, high flow. There it is. Watco high flow. So I'll grab some plumber's putty, flip it over, and we'll get some putty on the back side. And I also like to use a little bit of uh, this Rector Seal True Blue pipe thread sealant. It's the blue. Put that uh, around the threads.
right. And it is good to uh, inspect your seal here because you should replace it each time you uh, replace the tub basket or even the tub shoe or even the whole tub drain. But uh, this seal is in really good shape. Uh, I'm running out of time here. I'm in a make ready. So thankfully it's still good, it's soft, and there's no leaks. So we're gonna go ahead and put the new basket in and reuse that seal. And you wanna be very careful you don't cross thread it. Just drop it down, try to keep it straight as possible. And just turn it easy. Make sure you're not getting any resistance. And now we can use our regular tub drain dumbbell. tight as you can by hand. We'll grab our crescent wrench. Back you up some. Put this on here and go a couple turns. really tight. You don't want to over tighten it, but you don't want it to leak either. Get yourself a flat head and just clean up any of that excess plumber's putty around the edge. Grab our tub stopper. Snug that up. And we'll go ahead and throw the cap on. Okay, let's test it out. Alright, that's replacing the tub drain with the broken cross pieces using the uh, tub drain uh, extractor removal tool by Superior. I think the part number might be on here. Okay, right there we go. Superior tool made in the USA, patent number 052. If there is any other numbers after that, it looks like it kind of wore off, but yeah, it's the Superior Tub Drain Extractor. Works great for when your cross pieces are broken. Alright, well thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.